Yes, please. I know you had your hand up. Nice to see thank, you. Thank you, Mr. President. Thanks for taking my question. I, you referenced your a conversation with Elon Musk earlier this week. I want to ask you about that. You praise how he treats workers, saying they go on strike and you say, that's okay, you're all gone, you're all gone, so every one of you is gone. Are you really comfortable with companies threatening to fire workers who go on strike? Well, no, I want companies to get workers that are going to love them and work for a wage that lets the company make a profit so they can go and expand. Uh, in that case, they moved, as you know, they moved the company from California, Elon, uh, from California to Texas because they were able to get things that California wouldn't give. And I, I did ask him one question. Uh, you're moving a very big company out of California that's been there for years into Texas. Did the governor ever call you and say, like, let's work it out because we don't want to lose you? And he said he never called. Governor Newscomb, he never called. And you would have thought, if I were governor of California and if Elon or anybody else, they have oil companies leaving, I would be calling. But no, uh, Elon wants to run an efficient company. And if he has to get, he got rid of a lot of people on X or former Twitter, like a lot of people gone, and it still works. It still works. So uh, you got to run the company uh, productively. And there are going to be a lot of jobs around. I want it so that per a person doesn't have get lucky and find a job. I want a person that can look for 10 jobs, and all 10 companies want them. And you negotiate a great much more than you'd get by doing what you just suggested. So, you know, I, he has a, he's a strong man. He's a strong guy. He's a brilliant guy. And he wants to get the best he can, and he wants to get the best workers. Uh, he pays a lot of money to a lot of his workers. Uh, it's, to a certain extent, supply and demand. But ultimately, that's what's going to lead to a great country. So. Just to follow up on that really quickly, because some people took at that as you saying that you would be comfortable with companies threatening to fire workers. Sean O'Brien, who spoke at the Republican National Convention, saying that firing workers who are wanting to organize or striking is economic terrorism. So just to be clear, that's something that you are well, not that's not, yeah, They weren't organizing against Elon. He let them go because uh, he was having a lot of problems in California. He was ma they were making it impossible for him. In California, what they were doing with the taxes and everything were making it impossible for him. And Sean O'Brien's a great guy from the Teamsters you're talking. Yeah, Sean is great. Uh, I think Sean would understand it better than anybody. He's Don't forget, the unions are really threatened by what's coming in, by the, these millions and millions of people coming in. Sean O'Brien understands that. Uh, the black population is absolutely threatened. The Hispanic population is absolutely threatened because these people are coming in. They're going to take their jobs. They're going to make it very, very hard. What's happened in our country is, is a very dangerous, very bad thing.